Hello and welcome. I'm Travis Watts, the Director of Investor Relations at Ashcroft Capital. In this short video, we are talking about leverage and why it's used in real estate. And leverage is simply about borrowing money. It's used to maximize your buying power and your potential returns to investors. The most common form of leverage is simply obtaining a mortgage on a piece of property. So let's take a quick look at two examples of using leverage versus not using leverage. In the first example, let's say that we purchase a multifamily apartment building for $100 million without using a mortgage. So we pay all cash for the property. We'll assume also that the appreciation of this asset over the course of five years of holding it goes up to $125 million dollars representing a 25 million dollar increase in the purchase price and in the second example we'll say that we purchased the same piece of real estate but instead we choose to use leverage or we have a mortgage same purchase price 100 million dollars same appreciation over a five-year hold we'll say 25 million in equity gains but since we have a mortgage we'll say that we only put down 25 percent of the purchase price to be able to purchase that property. So that would be 25 million as a down payment. So in this example, your overall return would be substantially larger because you only put 25 million down as an investment and then your equity gains were 25 million over a five year hold. That would be essentially doubling your investment over five years or representing a 20% annualized return. In the first example where we paid all cash and didn't use leverage or a mortgage, you still have the $25 million gain over five years, no different, with the exception that you had to put up $100 million to make the investment in the first place. So your yield drops all the way down to a 5% annualized yield over a five-year period. Now, for simplicity reasons, I'm obviously excluding things like the closing cost or the broker commissions or the cash flow on the real estate, the maintenance costs, the rehab budgets. I just wanted to paint this very simple picture and help articulate why someone may choose to use leverage or a mortgage when purchasing a multifamily apartment building. As always, if you have additional questions, if there's anything you'd like to take a deeper dive on, you can reach me at Travis at Ashcroft Capital dot com. Thanks for watching.